Yeah, so I'm um, right now uh, focusing in on emotionally focused therapy and working with adults and couples um, on an emotional level, very much an interpersonal level, and trying very hard to uh, stay focused and grounded um, in the world of emotions and feelings um, and tying that to cognition and tying that to um, behavior and how it all interrelates. My approach, um, I'd say the, the foundation of my approach is a very humanistic uh, stance. I'm uh, very much honoring what people are coming to me with. I uh, want to very much uh, use self in therapy as well with an interpersonal approach. Um, I'm often collaborating and teaming and partnering um, with people to try to help understand and develop um, a pathway that's different than what they're currently experiencing for behavior change, for emotional satisfaction, for relational satisfaction in their life. And um, emotionally focused uh, therapy is what I um, subscribe to around couples in particular, um, as well as individuals, but there's an emotional component to what I'm often moving toward is trying to sit and experience and then help um, through that channel of emotionally experiencing something because we're often thinking through things most often and often getting stuck with repeated thoughts. I find myself literally saying that out loud and helping people to slow thoughts down, to slow their um, experience down and to sit with uh, often uncomfortable feelings, which tend to perpetuate into behaviors um, that repeat themselves over and over, if not examined. So the message that I'm often giving is slowing down and being mindful of what's happening in the moment. Just go for it. Um, it's scary. I think it can be different. And I think that it can be amazing to spend time examining self and allowing yourself to be still in the presence of others or another, if you're individual or others in group therapy, and allowing yourself to um, uh, relax enough in the face of thoughts, feelings that are often unexamined and to, to be still with that and allow um, somebody who cares and, and is interested in you examine some of that so you can also become more uh, aware of how you navigate life. So initially it could be a little nerve wracking. Um, the payoff is tremendous.